First of all, it's, a, it's an absolute honour for me to be awarded this honorary doctorate. I've spent over 40 years in international education and uh, this is the first honour uh, I've received. Um, and it's, it means an awful lot to me, especially, especially to receive it from a university such as MSU and also from a man I greatly admire, Tansri uh, Sukri. Um, he's a man who I respect, a man I look up to, um, and a man who epitomises to me what educational management is all about. Ever since I first came to MSU, um, as soon as I walked through the door, I sense quality education. When you look in the classrooms, the way the teachers are teaching, the way the students are taking notice of what's teaching. Everything that is done here is, is work-based, that it's not classical uh, education, it's preparing students for jobs. And, and then I think, when you look at the administration system here, you have very strong policies and procedures in place. You have a, a vision, you have a mission, and all the staff know what that vision and mission is. Uh, which is fantastic. What I see here is, is a university that thinks a lot about the students, making the students happy, making them in a nice, clean, safe environment. Distance learning, uh, whereby um, lectures are, are being recorded and students can access those lectures lifetime through their mobiles, through apps, etc. This is something that's being being developed worldwide now and is and is growing rapidly. And I know MSU have that. Uh, I've seen it in action. Um, but also, I think the the big move now is towards uh, TVET education, technical vocation education and training, whereby employers, whenever they're asked, so what do you think of graduates who are leaving universities now? to say they are not work ready. They've got the head knowledge, but they're not ready for work. They don't know how to negotiate, they don't know how to present, they don't know how to conduct themselves, they don't understand the need for good timekeeping. Um, so I think when I see MSU developing the TVET initiatives within their, their normal academic programs, that is a real step forward and ahead, ahead, ahead of the game really. One of the things we are pioneering um, within ASIC and within the accreditation side is we want to see how an institution uh, helping students prepare for work. You can't judge a skill by an examination, but you can judge a skill by developing more work-based assignments to go alongside the work-based curriculum. So I think the key thing is to give students an opportunity to develop skills and also not just look at the skills that they are gaining within the university. What they do outside the university, are they part of a team? Do they understand teamwork? Um, are they members of a club? Do they have a role to play within that club? So it's looking at the whole, the whole body, not just what they do in the academic environment. What we like to see is a diversity of number of international students coming to, to, to a university. We want to see how cultures uh, mix within the university and how, what the university is doing to help the mix, help students from different nationalities, different religions, um, help them to, 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 to integrate within their, within their culture. I think it was Martin Luther King uh, he once said that the reason there is so much conflict in the world is, and why nations don't get on with other nations is because they don't understand each other. And I think any, any plans for any internationalisation strategy should, should include an area of, of, of cultural awareness. And I know MSU are already doing that. 
I know you put on international days, international music, international food, uh, where people can get to know other nationalities in a, in a nice, friendly environment.